Hey guys, today I am doing pet peeves number two because a lot of people liked my first pet peeves video so I thought I would make another one because I have a lot of pet peeves. I could probably make like 10 videos. So, let's get into it. Okay, so my first pet peeve is when like say you're coloring a picture or something and like you and your friend are like coloring pictures together because you're cool and you're like, hey, can I borrow that marker when you're done? And they're like, sure. So they finish coloring. They close the marker and hand it to you. Why did you close it? I'm going to use it. Or like, so say you and your friend are doing homework together and you guys have to read the same thing for school. So you're like, hey, can I use that when you're done? I need to read the same thing as you. So they say, okay, shut the book and hand it to you. Why did you do that? We're using the same exact reading. Hey Cass, can I um, borrow that book for the homework? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Why'd you just shut it? I don't know. Number two, when people who can't even vote get like mad over politics. So like people my age, I'm 16, I can't vote till I'm 18. And we'll be in class and we'll be talking about like the presidential election. And somebody will be like, oh, I I'm voting for Obama. And some other person will be like, you can't vote for Obama? Hey. Hey, what's up? Oh my gosh, did you watch like the presidential debate? I'm totally voting for Obama. <sighs> you can't vote for Obama! <laughs> so my next pet peeve is when people pronounce the word recyclable as recyclable. My mom does this all the time and I think that's the only reason why it bugs me is because she does it all the time. It's like she misses an L in the word, so instead of recyclable, she says recyclable. Hey Brianna, is this recyclable? Recyclable? Nothing's recyclable, that's not a word. Recyclable. Oh! Number four. My hands look purple. Well, I kind of are. When the person behind you in class like kicks the back of your chair or like they're erasing something like ch -ch -ch -ch, and it shakes your entire desk, that is really annoying when that happened to me today. Or like when they bang their pen or like click their pen over and over. <sighs> Stop clicking your pen. <laughs> Number five is when you text somebody and you ask them more than one question in the text message, but they only answer one of the questions. So if I said, uh, do you want to hang out later? When will you be done with your homework? The person would be like, yeah. You only answered one of my questions, so um, want to answer the other one? Or like another thing that's annoying is when you ask somebody a question like, do you want to go to the mall or the movies? And they say, okay. I'm pretty sure you didn't answer my question at all. Okay, this one really bothers me. When I'm in class and my teacher erases the board, but they forget to, they like miss a spot. So there's like a little mark on the board where they didn't erase. It bothers me so much. I really want to walk up and just erase it. And actually in my Spanish class the other day, um, that he missed like a bunch of spots on the board and my, this teacher always does that. I swear he does it to bug us. So in the middle when he was like talking, somebody got up and erased them off the board. Cass, come here. I want to show you something. Hold let on. Let me see. The heck? Give me it. And the last thing for this video is when you're like listening to your iPod with somebody or like you're listening to the speakers and they can't finish the song. They go and they keep changing the song over and over again. Like you get, you, they can't listen to a whole song straight right before the song ends or like halfway through they have to change it over and over again. Oh, I love this song. Why'd you change it? Because I think it just gets too boring. That's why I like this song. Dearly beloved. Oh, this part's so boring. Don't why did you fast forward it? You can't listen to a whole song, can you? Why 
Why'd you change it? Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye. Goodbye. And then why do I look so white next to you? Because you're tan. <laughs>